Rational exponents. Rational exponents can be defined as expressions with exponents that are rational numbers or fraction. Rational exponents can be called as the fractional exponent. Take note, you can apply the laws of exponents in simplifying rational exponents, such as the product law, wherein you copy the base and get the sum of the exponents. Or you can also apply the power of a power, wherein you multiply the exponents and simplify the result. Or you could also apply the quantity x raised to 1 over m times quantity x raised to 1 over n equals x raised to 1 over m plus n all over mn, wherein you find the LCD of the denominator. Add the exponents as with the fraction. So let's have some examples in simplifying the following expressions. Number 1. Quantity x raised to 1 third times quantity x raised to 1 third. All you need to do is to copy the base x and get the sum of the exponents. So for the solution, you have here x, copy the base, and the exponents are the exponents 1 third plus 1 third. So 1 third plus 1 third, 1 plus 1 over 3, that's 2 over 3. So the answer is x raised to 2 thirds. Number 2. Quantity x raised to 1 fourth raised to 3. All you need to do is to multiply the exponents and simplify the result. So if you have here the base of x, multiply the exponents 1 fourth and 3. So 1 fourth times 3, or 1 over 4 times 3, that's 1 times 3 all over 4 times 1. So 1 times 3, that's 3. 4 times 1, it's 4. So since you cannot simplify 3 fourths, that would be the final answer. So x raised to 3 fourths. Number 3. Quantity x raised to 1 fifth times quantity x raised to 3 fifth times quantity x raised to 1 fifth. So add exponents as with the fractions, like you're just adding fractions. So since both are having the same basis, it's easier for us to copy the base, then add the exponents as if you're just adding fractions. So 1 over 5 plus one, 3 over 5 plus 1 over 5. So 1 plus 3 plus 1, that's 5. So x raised to 5 over 5, and as we simplify 5 over 5, that's 1. So x raised to 1 is simply x. Number 4. Quantity x raised to 1 third times quantity x raised to 1 over 5. Add the exponents as if you're just adding fractions. So copy the base, x, 1 third plus 1 fifth, since one, 1 over 3 and 1 over 5 are not sharing the same denominator, you need to find the LCD. So LCD of 3 and 5, it's 15. So you will have there x raised to 5 over 15 because 1 third is 5 over 15 and 1 fifth is 3 over 15. So 5 over 15 plus 3 over 15, that's 8 over 15. And since you cannot anymore simplify 8 over 15, that would be your final answer which is x raised to 8 over 15. Number 5. 27 raised to 2 thirds. All you need to do is to multiply the exponents and simplify the result. Since we can still change 27 into its exponential form, which is 3 cubed, so we have there 3 cubed raised to 2 thirds. And we can multiply 3 by 2 thirds. So you have there 3 times 2 all over 1 times 3. So as we continue our solution, we have there 3 raised to 6 over 3 because 3 times 2 is 6 and 1 times 3 is 3. 6 over 3 is equals to 2. So 3 squared is 9. So final answer is 9. And lastly, number 6, you have here 81 over 625 raised to 3 fourths. Multiply the exponents and simplify the result. But before that, we need to change 81 and 625 into its exponential form. We can change 81 to its 
exponential form, which is 3 raised to 4, and 625, which is 5 raised to 4. Next, multiply the exponents, distribute this exponent. So as you distribute, you have there um, 3 raised to 4 times 3 fourth all over 5 raised to 4 times 3 fourth. Then, we can simplify 4 times 3 all over 1 times 4, that's 12 over 4. For 5 raised to 4 times 3 all over 1 times 4, that's 5 raised to 12 over 4. And as you simplify, that is 3 cubed over 5 cubed. And 3 cubed is 27, and 5 cubed is 125. So the final answer is... 27 all over 125.